What's up everyone, this is DJ Strobe and I'm back with another one of my OBS tutorials. Over the quarantine I've had a bunch of time to work on scenes since my main computer died. So I've been doing pretty much nothing but creating a bunch of scenes and since I only have one camera, because we all know webcams are not easy to come by right now, I've had to try and do some things just to make it a little more engaging. Um, so this one is pretty basic, it's just a video of New York City which lasts around like an hour. So I created this taxi and you can see the little video shows through the lights and uh, that driver is just actually a video green screen that I'm using as a placeholder right now. Uh, but an overhead sign and those signs I can change depending on what type of music I'm doing. Uh, there's usually chat over here and that's really about it for that. Uh, it's just something to watch and make it a little more fun. I, this one I talked about in an earlier one, but I've kind of updated it. There are a couple little UFOs that come up and either tell you to visit or follow and I can control when they come up or not with my Elgato Stream Deck. If you're not familiar with what an Elgato Stream Deck is, it's basically something about the size of an iPhone that has a bunch of buttons that you can assign to change scenes, change sources, turn things on and off, mute mics, play sound effects, pretty much do whatever you want. Uh, so you're not like reaching for your mouse or anything while it's happening and it's remote. So uh, you can have it anywhere and just kind of out of the way, turn things on and off. There's also an iPhone and iPad app they make. And then there's, there's other uh, companies that make things that are similar. It just helps the streaming. So you're not sitting there trying to do that, especially if you're using one computer, because I use a computer to DJ and then I use a computer to stream. But if you're using one computer, and you're looking at your DJ software, you don't want to have to switch back to OBS to change things. This way you see it, it tells you it has icons that are basically LEDs that you can change to whatever it is. So, you know, you can make it a word, you can make it a picture. So it's easy to tell what's happening. Uh, on this one, like I use my Elgato to turn different cities, backgrounds on and off. Uh, and then I also use it to change the visuals that are happening in the bus, which whatever's happening in the visuals is also happening in the logo. And again, that the bus is just wheels that are green screened out and the bus that I had this cut out. And then you have uh, I have like some exhaust coming out of the back and speakers just flash a little and that that was just cutting it out and making the opacity like half so it, it's not too bright uh that's pretty much all with that one uh i also do like a new wave dance party so <clears throat> i made this tv i cut out obviously the TV part and some little buttons in the grills. So if I take the TV out, you can see that there's the video of me, a couple little videos and a little dancer and the video behind it. And then the layer, the main layer, I cut out and made these little elements opaque. So you would see the video, see that video happening behind it. I uh, usually actually have another video behind me. And then I also have this cool video of new wave people dancing from the eighties that I can turn on and off and I can also blend it. So it's like going half and half. Uh, and then usually there's chat over here underneath the uh, DJ strobe shake the disease title. Uh, that's pretty much it with that. And since uh, a lot of us are, um, missing clubs and DJing I wanted to do a couple 
things like this. So it's pretty simple. I actually took a picture and cut out the elements I wanted to show behind. So the uh, basically it's videos and elements like these dancers. So if I turn those off, you see these two girls and these two girls. Those are just green screen dancers that I cut and edited. Um, and I put these these two here just to give it a little more dynamic when you have these going on. You kind of see it and they just add a little bit and then you have those dancers up there, which are, again, just green screen and the visuals that are happening. I can change that. I also have them working on some lights that will kind of flash around, but I don't want to make it too busy. I just think this is kind of a fun thing and I generally have my logo up there. And the last one is a little safari party. This one's cool. I, again, the crowd and the trees are green screen. And so the visuals in the back, I can change as well. And then you have all these animals, the lion, the monkey on the DJ booth, and the tiger and the leopard that are behind the trees, the people dancing the girls that are dancing on the side. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it's just something since I only have one camera right now and I wanted to just have fun. Basically, these to me, I, I like to spin fun music and I thought it'd be fun to do this. Um, plenty of people do great with just the one camera on them, DJing without overlays, without visuals. And that's also super awesome. Uh, I'm a kooky dude and I like to have fun and I thought these would be a fun addition to the landscape of people live streaming and I hope you like them. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up uh, and you can see these with me actually DJing uh, on my Twitch channel, which is twitch.tv forward slash DJ Strobe. Cheers.